Hey, John here again. So right in the middle of uh, leaf season, my primary way to pick up leaves here, one of these carts, and uh, as you can see, it's starting to fall apart. This fabric, which I don't care about that little rip because it's, uh, you know, the, the leaves blow that way. Nothing really too bad comes out of there. However, in the back, <laughs> that was a door, a uh, little fabric door that worked on, you know, zippers, right? And uh, unfortunately, you know, they start falling apart. And this one was bad enough. Well, the little thing broke up. But so this side was uh, falling apart. You know, I'm starting to develop uh, these. You know, this stuff's starting to get old. I bought this about eight years ago. It was used, but it wasn't really used. Used. I mean, it was still in great shape. But so I paid 800 bucks for this machine. It's been really good to me. And now the fucking zipper. Now the zipper. Uh, you know, stuck, and I kept uh, whatever. So I, you know, gave it the old get out there, and uh, everything ripped apart. So, so now I got to figure out a way to put this back together, because even if I could find one of these, which I think I can at Sears, it's four hundred dollars. I only paid eight hundred dollars for the machine. There's no way I'm paying four hundred dollars for this fabric if I don't have to. Uh, so I'm gonna see what I can do about jury rigging this back together because when this thing is on this thing's really blowing so I, I gotta have a way to secure all this I don't know what I'm gonna do it for a door yet but um, that thing there is uh, you know I'll, I'll figure something out but uh, I just figured I'd show you this just because uh, well, I don't know why <laughs> see if I can jury rig something together because if I had a commercial sewer I might try to put things back together but the zipper you know with all the dust and the leaves and the crap that gets it gets gummed up, and over the years, it gets more and harder and harder to operate, and then, uh, and then it starts tearing into stuff. So I got to figure something else out because, yeah, you know, I don't want to pay four hundred dollars for this. And I don't even know if the uh, four hundred dollars includes the uh, metal framing. I seriously doubt it, but either way, I don't need the metal framing. I just need this stuff, and I don't have a commercial sewer, like I said. You know, if I did have a sewing machine, I don't even know if you know that'd be a pain in the ass to sew everything back together, obviously. So let me see what I can come up with. Right, so this is what I come up with so far to hold the fabric. That's just um, actually I had some uh, conduit uh, plastic PVC conduit left over. So I took uh, took one of those suckers and then down to the table saw there, uh, ripped it you know in half, and then of course cut to measure everything. So this has got the material you know pinched in there. So. I ain't gonna go nowhere so the top you know so everything that's fine that's the easy part actually I mean I didn't take the zipper off because it left more material there but uh, so I got everything pinched in there so it ain't going nowhere now the trick is we're gonna do a door here you know because there ain't gonna be enough material to like and it's got to be pretty secure I'm not worried about this piece here uh, coming out of there although I might uh, yeah I might just cut a little section, just cut a little piece over here just to get that corner a little better. I don't think it'll come out of there, but but I might just do that. Put a couple pieces there because I got some left over. Then let's figure out this door thing because it's supposed to rain today. That's why I'm doing this today, but I got to get this ready because as soon as you get behind with this yard, man, it's a mess. It really becomes problematic, so you got to keep up with it. Uh, let me see about okay, this Okay, so here's what I come up with. Um, this het resistant screen uh, 15 bucks for it but I did uh, my patio doors my dog scratches this shit every day it's impossible to rip so I thought that would make a good uh, you know so anyways here's what I did I uh, had some you know aluminum stuff left around so I wrapped the one in aluminum and then put another piece of aluminum as a backer plate so that's uh, it's pretty heavy probably 15 pounds so as this stands like this you know that'll be that and that's that'll keep it taut once I uh, see I, up here I did uh, the old routine with the uh, split this conduit in half just kind of secured it to the frame rail there I left this here I'm not gonna cut it yet just because uh, I don't know if it's gonna work or not but I have a feeling it will. So, anyways, did the same thing over here. 
and uh, this was four foot when you buy it it's just perfect as far as you know there's enough overlap here as you'll see let me set this up and put the tailgate on high. Right, here's what I'm thinking uh, this tailgate you know has to go in first let me get this thing fills up on leaves it's pretty heavy but uh, even the old one you had to uh, you know it kind of puffs out a little bit but the old one didn't have any weight on it you know it just had a piece of plastic so it did fly out a little bit but the zippers you know, held everything in place. So I'm not going to do zippers, obviously. I can't sell zippers, huh? So I just stuck this in here, just let it drop, right? And uh, pull my excess out here. Right? And here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking this. These are dollar, dollar clamps, right? So I'll just uh, clamp, uh, clamp it in one place, two place. But, uh, Six clamps I'm going to do, right? You don't see that up here. I'm going to move the thing up. So one there. One there. And uh, I'm also going to do uh, a couple up top here. But i got more material to work with, so I can fold it over a little bit. I don't, need, I don't know if I would need it up here, but I'm going to do it anyways. Just because. Yeah, so that's where I'm at. Now I gotta go test her out. So basically, I've got uh, three dollar clamps on each side, and the bottom is weighted down with that aluminum. Now that does create a lot of air, so I'm hoping nothing uh, sneaks around this corner. I don't think it will. If I have to get a couple more clamps, you know, in between, I will. I do have one left, but I'll go out to the dollar store and get some more if that's what it takes. But I have a feeling it'll be all right because this uh, this will let enough air through. We'll probably will. Well, let me pull it out. It ain't raining yet. See if this sucker works. Of course, I ain't gonna tell until I hit some leaves. But I got some leaves, so. Let me tell you. All right, so I want to wrap this video up with, uh, first of all, I've been doing leaves. It's been a couple weeks since I've, uh, you know, cob job this thing up. Uh, so I've got a few piles here. And uh, here's where I dump my leaves. Well, back here, but uh, so this thing's holding up pretty good. I'm going to empty it, but you see how flat that is? The original door in the back used to bow out, you know. Used to just bow out just because the load in there. Uh, this is actually doing a way better job than the original, just a little clamp and stuff. So, just wanted to throw that in there before I end the video. Uh, you know, this ain't complete. Uh, let me uh, open this door up real quick. Hold on a second. So, anyways, um, like I said, this is like the, uh, I don't know, it's been a week or two. Try the sixth, seventh, eighth load I've had. The screen is holding up really good. I gotta tell you. I mean, uh, aside from uh, you know looking like it's a cop job, <laughs> which it is, but uh, so again, like I was saying, the the original door with zippers it would just bow out, and I think that's what affected the zipper part. It's just everything was bowing out, and this is bowing out just a hair but it's not completely full but I've had it full before so I just kind of like you know push it in a little bit and this door comes right out so you know I don't want to rip anything but it's like it's almost better than the original and this screen is just foolproof I mean it doesn't doesn't get affected one way or the other so I'll just like wrap it up a little bit put it over here I mean, I've had it full to here, you know, and uh, I just did another round, and you got to keep up with it, because if you don't, you know, it gets overwhelming, but this stuff, not only your mower mulches it, the impeller on the machine mulches it, so you can fit a lot more than you think in there, so this stuff is pretty compact in there, 
And I really think because this screen worked out so good, I think I think I might build a bigger, you know, frame out of wood maybe, and just use this screen. I don't know because, well, time will tell. But look how compact that is. That is like a brick wall, and uh, this thing held up really good. So, anyways, that's that. Let me get this empty here. All right. There's a little piece left over, right? Watch this stuff. All right, cuts easy enough. All right, that's a that's a uh, you know, a regular screen. I can just pull on it easily enough, and it'll rip right in half. This stuff, watch this. Look at this. I mean, I'm literally trying to rip this shit in half. I mean, seriously, this stuff is like unbelievable. Uh, as far as you know, I think it'll work. It's probably better than the original stuff. Look at this stuff. This is our tape. I just cut it. I can't even rip it. I'm serious. I'm putting all my weight into it too. I'm gonna try to rip it. So that uh, that's gonna hold up really good. <clears throat> oh, got the budge a little. <clears throat> nope. I mean, this stuff is like. Look at even a screwdriver. Fucking, where is it? My dog's, this is a pair of scissors. Of course, it cuts easy enough, but my dog, like, jumps on this screen all the time. I mean, it, it's just, it's like bionic. Regular screen, there'd be holes in that. It's starting to do something there, but I still cannot. There it goes. God! That stuff is unbelievable. So I think it's going to last. Uh, if it doesn't, it didn't really cost me much. 15 bucks for a roll of screen. And uh, I'm not going to be torquing out like that outdoors in their leaves there, so.